Hello, Freeview, welcome to Mr. Who Reviews. And today, I'll be in Yu-Gi-Oh! Go Rush, episode 40. And in this, uh, a lot of characters seem to know that the Neanderthal is working uh, they're probably too hard for the M.I.K. And uh, Malibu and her uh, races to be Torn, although they've uh, uh, hung out together by themselves for that, that lot for that uh, much. Uh, after she was unfrozen, and what happened in the, the last arc, and uh, turned out Malibu had a plan to get uh, the um, most of the town spaceship. To uh, Nyanstar's planet, the planet, the uh, partner, partner, yeah. So they can unfreeze uh, this uh, residence there. But you don't, you don't want them, uh, Nyanstar to know. So does the three girls, uh, Yuna, Yumu, and Asaka, tell her? So. Mm -hmm. And that star seems to be uh, delighted. And it also turned out that Yudius and uh, Yuhi built a, a Rust Duel dojo. Yeah, I don't know how they build it fast, but. Yeah, and turned out that Yuhi uh, uh, built a good Wants to get stronger Rust Duel and he wants to. Uh, the adults of uh, UTS to help. And there's a good uh, flashback scene with him and uh, Tazaki uh, having a talk with Yuhi saying that he doesn't uh, blame the Earth Demar uh, anymore for uh, him being a weak duelist and like I said he wants to come stronger with their help so yeah. And uh, you messy tells uh, Malibu about the dual dozo and the training, and yeah, after the last uh, two times, the, a member of it, you just said train Malibu, and got to take his eye off them. Hmm. Um, so that's a bit of a ploy on the uh, uh, Yumu's part. Since he's trying to get a Malibu and uh, uh, Yanisar to get there for some reason. Hmm. And then he's about to do, do Dozo as he gets around. Oh, yeah, and uh, Rovin and uh, a Unir as he make, making a curry. Um, Rovin. Made a, made a bit of curry explode. There's some curry explode. Yeah, not that different from ramen, eh? And turn out the the chupacabra is the uh, the uh, driving the um, money around. And when he hears about the dozo, he he just go go up very fast. So he can he make his mania uh, train card stronger. Ugh. Um. Somehow, a uh, a uh, Yuhi got a uh, big like, uh, fighting robes or something. And the first uh, train session is with the uh, well, what the adults call themselves the uh, a uh, UTS eight something chance. Yeah, they do say that some of the give your monster motivation to be stronger than that, but yeah, really isn't people to find that some of the sense cool. Yeah, so that would be the contests with the the eight of them being being a uh, judges and the winner gets a prize, and the students of the dojo just have to draw a card and. Get into a, a cosplay. <laughs> to, uh, to, to say uh, a chant. 
I like it pretty well. So the what it says is funny and the reactions by uh, some of the characters were uh, good as well. And I do like uh, you you uh Yuna's reaction when she sees uh Roven got to score Roven go. <sighs> it's just good. I don't think Yuna or uh, Asaka it did it something sound or unless I missed something. But hmm. Uh turn out there's a it, it was a tie between uh Yanister and Manabu. And uh, so they have a, a lightning round where they both have to do a, make up a summoning chant for a card. And the other card. Yanister. Yeah, no, nobody even knew that uh, Yanister was on a card and Yumu thinks that Yuna and uh, Asaka probably did something. Uh, turn out the two thought the other did something. Y Yuna was uh, angry that Sokka did something like this without her permission. Yeah. And yeah, now Sarah was uh, hesitant about doing this woman stand. Um, does it thanks to Malibu? She's able to get through any boat win. And the prize uh, is a. Uh, Voucher for any uh, food place in Mustard Town. I had the score 888. Eight, eight. And I do like, I do think it's funny that a uh, UE is uh, thinking that the uh, score 75 with practically nothing. <sighs> no, no, no. Um, yeah, I think like the bond between the the MIK, MIK agents has been uh, fixed while well, everybody's just watching them eat something. Um, yeah, that's what, it, that's what it ends. And I think it's a decent episode. Some of it's pretty funny. And of course, you just had to get the, the Meg Shan, uh, Shan card. And I do find it a little funny that a uh, Chupa. As the uh, it's actually angry that the cosplay isn't authentic, but when he when you just is doing the chat, I think uh, you just is cute and just questions himself. <sighs> uh, I don't really recognize that some of the cards that the or some of the monsters that the other characters are doing a uh, chance to, but I had to get that um and the answer. Uh, did one of um, Amonia's uh, uh, cards just the way the animation was in that. Ugh, I don't know. And yet, it is a bit of filler, but also a bit of a character development for uh, Malibu and uh, Neon Star. Um, maybe uh, it will come back again near the end. And like the uh, Meg Shan uh, show uh, did in the last arc, and like in a you go seven, maybe one of the characters has to use one of the other characters' monsters or they do the summoning chant, but how do we see? And that shouldn't seem interesting since they do uh, arrive on Yanisar's uh, home planet, so. I wouldn't see what they do. Maybe they use more curry bread or something else, or maybe there's another threat or something. I wonder if they run into the Lug and the Future Boy again, but as we see. And uh, that's it, guys. Later.